sometimes things are hurried and you have to make the best decision you can at that time. Just put your just put your heart into it. And you may get some breaks that you didn't expect. Because you don't know how everything's going to pan out. You have to learn to center in your storms. And we realize that because we've realized that maybe this year. Because when we don't, it seems we don't learn and just face the same situation in the same scared way. It bugs me that Carly didn't, how could she not understand what we were trying to talk about centering in storms? How and why is there such a gap between people and our understanding of each other? I guess maybe because it's not just it's not just Carly it's like a lot there's a there has to be patience I guess I don't know there's like we're like with Will that was a big thing I don't know does there have to be patience like because some stuff is just really frustrating then it seems that there maybe there's just a big sometimes there's just gaps between people and do we we if should we should we have patience with people if they don't what about people that like just don't want to talk things through to the depths that we need or want to or could like we got to take care of our heart too then again, maybe we shouldn't just listen to every beckoning of our heart to wanna to wanna address this or address that. Like maybe we don't need to respond to its every frustration and see something deeper, see center beyond that maybe. But at the same time, we can't just be ignoring it because that racks on, um, I don't know, stress, or racks on like weight it, add, it racks on weight if we don't address our hearts like concerns issues so so we have to address it's we have to address to some degree but i wonder if there's maybe a certain understanding or a certain whatever that a certain centering that could be had so that our heart doesn't feel that all the time. I don't understand with Carly, I don't understand with Lauren, I don't understand with Dad, I don't... or David. And then Curie and Kyle, like, they're just... I don't even know, like, 
But then, if situations happen with like deeper friends, then of course they would. Thank you. Then of course they would happen with um with people that we're not as close with. Are we supposed to have understanding and patience, like? Because there does seem to be a gap between people. I don't know. Where's the line of where someone hurts us and... Because some people just, like, regardless of how much we explain stuff, or are they just not supposed to be in our lives, like, with that? Like, for the time being, maybe, until God... Until, or... Until God brings things together, if... He brings things together. If that's his will or what he's going to do on the matter. Maybe we're just not supposed to be connected to dad. Or or the family's not supposed to be back together. Or maybe Lauren was only supposed to be in my life for a season. Maybe I needed to break down in response to Christians from because of my frustration with Carly so that with so that I could truly appreciate like N Nancy and Brad Friesen like or may maybe people just play their pieces like yesterday we were frustrated with Fargo Invader stuff because of if someone would have told us earlier, when apparently this has been a thing for like half a month, about that there was going to be some kind of physical alternative get-together, we would have gone to that. But we didn't know until like 40 minutes before it. And that's something that would have been special to us, and we missed it. And then the other thing that was happening at the same time that we did go to, that ended up being frustrating too. But then, maybe the pieces go as they're supposed to so that I can realize that, like, oh, wait, when I was near West Acres, I was in this, like, playful mood. Like, I don't know if it was, that's what my spirit was in or just how I, or whatever. But, like, in my mind, I was like, oh, I got to get, I just felt like I had to go and get where I was supposed to go, to go to the Ubuntu racial dialogues. And then, but if, if I would have listened to whatever spiritual mood I was in, where I was just in a pleasurable mood and just buying stuff from the gas station and from Target and, and Taco Bell, and I think I would have ended up going to Burger King, potentially. I guess I'm not 100% sure. But if I would have just listened to that, instead of being in my mind and being like, oh, there's... I gotta get there or whatever. When I would have found out the information that like this stuff was happening at B-dubs, I would have been near enough. Potentially. Um, granted, um, a little bit later on our walk, we did, um, finally listened to it and then like just turned back around and went and sat somewhere and thought about going back to Burger King and then felt like we didn't want Burger King and then upon realizing that it felt okay to keep walking so I don't I don't know for sure if it's but it might be the case that earlier on if I would have just went with that pleasurable whatever state I was in in a spiritual way though or I think I would have just went with how I was Potentially, I would have been able to go to something that was really important to me. So again, this is the second time, potentially, in life that sometimes got to really listen to what you're feeling or, or inside because it might have a knowledge that you don't.